Well, guys, uh, today is a uh, tiebreak day for uh, uh, round three of World Cup, and uh, it's been a bloodbath. Um, Mamidzarov is out, Giri is out. Uh, now, uh, MVL is desperately trying to make a draw with White um, in the. And if he doesn't draw, so he's out as well. Uh, so probably if Carlson some, at some point gets defeated, then we're going to have very interesting champion. Yeah, last time it was Rajabov, but Rajabov is top ten, and at this point uh, it can be anybody because uh, leaders just play not ready, you know, for this kind of. Um, uh, mm, for pl for games when they don't have uh, uh, option to somehow save the game and continue like in top tournament yeah so um, very interesting all right so let's see uh, how Giri got outplayed how he lost the first game the second in the second game Giri was uh, winning at some point then it was a draw but he lost the first game so for him it was anyway a total loss all right Giri is playing white and he played e4 which is uh, uh, he plays everything so it's not a surprise and uh, another back played uh, e6 uh, well uh, kind of bold move uh, just saying that well uh, I'm not going to try to draw I'm going to play a normal game and um, maybe you know play something d4 d5 uh, knight to d2 and I had this position many times with white and black um, um, kind of tricky move uh, um, white is uh, uh, is not playing knight c3 which is the main move yeah going for this uh, queen g4 and totally crazy game which I would uh, I would expect from Giri actually because he definitely knows a lot in this he decided to play more solid c5 knight c6 takes takes and bishop b5 again um, I had this position with black but next move of black uh, surprised me uh, queen e7 never played it but uh, as long as i played um, french defense i will try it at some point very interesting idea uh, and giri goes back uh, if uh, queen e2 then uh, probably takes and ancient says it's totally equal position uh, uh, so um, normally uh, there is this a6 move bishop to d7 and uh, a lot of moves here but uh, definitely Giri was not uh, totally ready for that queen c7 uh, takes takes and knight to b3 so uh, black here has isolated pawn on d5 which uh, I don't know uh, uh, I never had uh, a position anyone taking this pawn actually um, as isolated yeah because the position the chess is so sharp game that uh, you cannot uh, you know exchange everything and uh, just win it because um, black has so many defensive uh, opportunities so it's impossible to capture this pawn well if you know what I'm saying bishop b6 um uh, there are ideas in this position like knight to f6 bishop g5 and then black uh, has some tactical ideas with h6 b bishop to h4 g sorry g5 and then uh, this bishop starts uh, pinning the f2 pawn and if you play in blitz game you can easily win a piece but it ha hasn't happened of course uh, knight to e7 uh, another back so differently and he aims I think for h6 and knight to f5 because with this bishop on e2 
white cannot check black king and black gets a very important tempo. Knight d5, castles, knight uh, bishop e3, a6. Uh, very helpful move. Uh, you want to uh, take away this b5 square from the knight and bishop possibly. And he took with the pawn. Um, now it's uh, pawn on d5 is defended and uh, the position is equal. Yeah, as we look at the engine, engine says it's it's uh, total equality. Queen d4, exchange, and rook to b8. So uh, I suggest that, um, of course, white position is fine, but uh, I lost a couple of these endgames with white uh, because um, it's uh, a little bit uh, hard to find a good plan. Yeah, but for black there is like um, you can push this pawn. You can you already have this attack on the B file, and um, uh, black has more dynamic. Now B three, uh, A five, and Rook B. <laughs> Rook b1, a bit um, funny move, uh, but uh, what can you do? Um, you need to defend uh, this b4, b2 pawn, and if you play a4, for instance, then there is tactic bishop takes c2 and rook takes b3. So um, maybe it's correct. I'm not saying it's a bad move, just uh, uh, black has initiative. Bishop b3. Rook a5, exchanges, and knight to d2, d7. I'm not, uh, I don't say I like this move. Knight to d3, I think, was more natural. Um, you cannot win anything here, but you can lose some tempi at least. c4 and d4. Um, I'm pretty sure that Gary, uh, Anish didn't, uh, didn't see what how to proceed, how to find counterplay. Again, engine says that white is totally fine, but I don't know. This c4 move and it's the first line. Don't like it. I just don't want to give black this um, strong pass pawn on d4. But it's the first uh, the engine move. b4 takes takes and rook to a2. So uh, Black has uh, this file. Black is already going to uh, intrude to e2, and um, white needs uh, to do something really fast. Knight c5, knight to d3. Um, again, uh, white is holding. Um, but again, these exchanges, uh, I think the in best case scenario, white can only draw. Yeah, if uh, white makes a mistake, then black wins. So it's essentially for uh, game for two results. Knight to d6, knight to e4, and f5. Um, naturally, you cannot move your knight because of the back rank mate. So f5, and you want to, you know, uh, take uh, more space in the end game. This move is not bad at all. And Griff played g4. Um, um, there was this game, blitz game in Switzerland, uh, in Zurich between uh, Nakamura and uh, Carlsen. And uh, if you remember, um, there was a a lot of tactics, yeah, and Carlsen won with this beautiful g5 move, giving his king a loft and protecting knight on f5. Uh, this is something <laughs> similar, but the problem is that this move, like, gives black advantage, yeah. After knight to uh, g5, uh, now uh, this fork is a threat, and uh, again, uh, um, White is under big pressure. Takes the pawn. Knight f3. Attacking the knight. And d3. So now uh, black is just saying that, uh, uh, well, uh, this uh, two pieces cannot create uh, uh, 
counterplay and we have uh, we starting to push our pawn knight um uh, sorry uh, rook to e3 uh h5 um interesting idea and it's the best move for black maybe Guri didn't see it um so engine uh, suggests that uh, king takes g4 is much better so h5 he took and uh, uh, rook to d1 um, again uh, uh, when you have a lot of pieces near the spawn you feel like you can stop it or give uh, a piece against it but yeah this pawn sacrifice has been important in the sense that after knight returns and pawn moves to d2 well this knight from f4 cannot get anywhere near this pawn because um, uh, you know it's uh, it needs like three moves just to attack it yeah it's not enough so he took d2 and now black is winning yeah nothing can stop this pawn from promotion and in this position giri resigned all right guys um Thank you very much for watching. Um, please give a thumbs up and uh, uh, see you next time.